Alright, so welcome back. Let us chop some more people into little bitty pieces. appears to be cleared. I guess that doesn't really matter, I just like to be thorough. If you're a uh, building full of people with an axe, you should get the job done, you know? I don't know whether or not I'm gonna need blood buff, but let's just go. Welcome, brother. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? You've come to the right place, brother. We got more truth here than we can handle. <clears throat> Do you say that to everybody who just walks into your room with a fireman's axe? Okay. Ah, the disease-ridden demagogue. <coughs> the disease. Brother, you've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shed these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. Partake of my axe? I'm gonna speak with you to join this gruesome gathering. They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned. Your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. The curtain is drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Do your days also end with Gehenna? Gehenna! Judgment Day! The Apocalypse again! Brother, you are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason, no all-powerful and terrible God to watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me, and that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, brother. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God, and the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. <coughs> Until we have all journeyed below into the night, sir. I too wish to ride your evil wave, O Minister of the Macabre. The time for words has come and gone, my brother. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. 
Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. I'll urinate on your ashy remains, Bishop. Let's fight. Let's make all these people stop babbling. It's a painful conversation. Speaking of painful. some blood packs I can use to heal, but I didn't want to. Sorry, just one moment. Do something really quick here. Okay. Somebody was bugging me and I just had to tell him I was busy. Um I want to use blood buff from right at the beginning this time. They come. Go ahead. You talk no. The time. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Die. Where'd he go? He went, but oh well. Okay. Um, what do we got? We're back, to damsel. I do the parking lot thing. Okay. We'll do that. King of the carrier pigeons and all of his filthy chicks are finally extinct. You killed all of them? You. Huh. So I guess you want me to thank you or something? You know what? Thanks, okay? No, for now. Just don't go bragging to everybody about it. <laughs> I only sought to pull the weeds and allow flowers to blossom once again. Righteous. You know, you just may not have an out soul. I'll let you chew on that. Some of your boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression that I was soft. Somebody in this joint's gonna laugh at straight because your mouth's shut. Hmm. See ya, Denzel. Alright. Hey, what's up, Jack? I'll look at the street chase, Follow the bloody road I was set upon. What do you seek, demon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, kid. You're not reporting for duty here, so you sit up, okay? We're just chatting. Come on, Dave. Hmm. 
At least one of my personalities understands you. So, how was Santa Monica? The lady was sad and beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So if you score a lot of ski ball tickets down on the pier there. I whipped around the wooden ball, but procured no prize. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. I'm too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Right as red rain. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics when you were alive. Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? But, saying that's just me? <laughs> hmm. Ryan swooped in like death on demon's wings. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> Since you guys let those Sabacos too. Well, two of them anyway. How can you pass up that kind of fun? Why does Nines keep saving this little fly? Well, well, he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Now well, he's got a thing for the little guy. How did this bat find in my shadow? Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. Let's get up this part to see if it happens. What if the prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? Is that the terrible truth? Hey, what is the theory you have that you must have been watching? No one where you're going. Was it Jester Dance such a jig with the Sabbat? I'm not saying he's working with the Sabbat. I know he is. But it sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street and the Sabbat would pick up on it. Did you want that? Oppressive, this news. But probable. It's how the camera only works, kiddo. Trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. Such politics are dread and dirty. Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. You follow not the laws of the Jester? Ha 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 Ah, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. LaCroix? I guess the spider sent this little fly to Santa Monica. Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you, LaCroix, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Why would the jester hate this little fly? It's bullshit, camera law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population is old-fashioned crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. So why has the spider not killed this little fly? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vets who are born in the world. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Have you public relations propensities? Yeah, man. It's called kicking ass and crushing the skull of any asshole who steps on my toes. That's the the word. People are digging. Why does the jester fear the shadow of nines? Isn't he, chief? Croy is the boss of Camarilla in L.A. That's it. Hmm. Croy is the boss. <laughs> That's a lich. You and a jester may parade in the king's cloak. That's Camarilla need us to buy you the motion frame that large and you dick. Now telling free living vampires they need to be ruled with a hard sell. So the Camarilla faked up a play nice and show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Hmm. Explain this everyone. The free living dead, you know. A lot of people like to use the label anarchs. Hmm. Yeah, sure mind your play, Mata. Uh, What's on your mind? You're no longer here.
Okay, let's drop the save game. Alright. Traffic, yes. That's what we need to do next. Okay. To the parking lot. I have some mafia goons to eat. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Sneak up, but there's a lot of them, so let's just fuck them up. Size is strong enough, I don't need to sneak up on them. Okay. Take those. Dr. Payne says it's time for your checkup. Yach. Yeah, punch the guy with the fire axe. It's a great idea. I can see you're not the brains of this operation. <laughs> Whoops. I really am pushing my luck here, aren't I? Alright, you know what? Oops, maybe not. Okay. Sneak up on that guy in the corner and eat him. I don't get his friend. Yeah. God damn it. Cheating ass game. These guys are really hard to grab. That's better. Maybe bullet resistant, but I'm not bullet immune, and that was a lot of bullets. Yeesh. 
Okay. Next. Need this one too. Top myself up. guys. See it's the little tiny nukes again. Somebody else is coming to get it too. Where'd the briefcases go? full again. Delicious. Oh, there it is. out quickly it just sort of goes back and forth along the same level if I remember correctly it's a stealth option as opposed to a kill everybody in the goddamn place option which is usually my preference did I take a baseball bat yeah I did
Whoa! What the hell that was? Alright. Hey, Fat Larry. Mission complete. Give me your goods. This music's getting really strange, actually. I'm full of secrets. Outstanding! Pass it over here, partner. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my man right here after him. All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm gonna get me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm gonna order 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive shit. You won't come? My treat. I reserve my days for the dark dreams of troubled minds. I'm gone. My man, what is up? Shopping cart is empty. Alright. Sell, sell, sell. Wait, did... Yeah, there we go. Sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. Sell, sell, sell. Okay. Now, weren't you supposed to have some new stuff to sell to me? I think it's... Uh, I don't even know. I guess not. You lied to me. That's okay. He paid me. Okay, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for here. Now we just gotta do that stuff. Okay, back to Santa Monica. See you guys next time.